Hey, welcome back. My name is Al, and uh, I was actually at work all day today. You know, it's a Tuesday, so I'm at work, and then my son had a football game, so I didn't really catch any of the awesome announcement. So I'm just going to watch most of it now and then throw you little pieces here and there and give you my thoughts as we go. Uh, it's mine and Ian's turn, so buckle up as Let's usual. Go. It's going to be because I'm good times. Look at great nice start. Catch, great dude. start. <laughs> Love dude. it already. Let's usual. Go. It's going to be because I'm good times. Look at Did he catch that? Ian's That's so turn. Funny. So buckle up as Let's usual. Go. It's going to be because I'm good times. Look at the things that you might have. My email is ianrobinson at maxon.net. Yeah. Feel free to email. My phone number is get 828 em, Paul. No, get for version 1.0. There are some features that we weren't able to get done for this first version, but we ain't even close to being done. So polygon density, that is super impressive. I, if I were a betting man, I totally would have said that ZBrush for iPad is going to be ZBrush Core Mini. It's going to be this crazy watered down thing that's not even worth using. Right. So I'm super impressed that one, you can have millions and millions of polygons two, tons and tons of brushes. Uh, I guess three customization is insane. I never thought that they would add that at least the first go around. And then the bouncing back between desktop, iPad, back and forth. That's, that's insane. I'm totally blown away that they were able to do that and that they actually chose to do that. Right. So the team was just going through things that we would like to do. And I'm telling you, I'm like, guys, this is great. We've got like 10 years of stuff. Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> the getting your hands on ZBrush for iPad, right? So there are going to be four ways. Pretty freaking cool that they do allow a free version for anybody. They didn't have to do that. Obviously it's a good marketing tool, get people in there play around with it. And then they're like, oh, they love it and fall, you know, fall in love with it. And then they want to buy it. So it makes sense from a business standpoint, but it's still really awesome that anybody with an iPad can hop in here and just try it. That's awesome. Yes, there's gonna be a free version, right? So you guys are gonna have a free version. Anybody that has that can go get their iPad, go get ZBrush. Then you guys are gonna have obviously three subscriptions. There's your Max on One subscription, there's your ZBrush subscription, and there will be individual Apple only app subscriptions as well. Okay, so if you have Max on One, which is, you know, the whole suite, you get ZBrush for iPad. If you have a ZBrush subscription, you get ZBrush for iPad. And then they also have the pricing for just ZBrush for iPad. Well, and I guess this would be the yeah ZBrush for iPad, just ZBrush for iPad, no desktop, anything. 90 bucks a year. I'm sure we'll talk more about that at a later time. We'll be able to get the iPad only version for $9.99 a month, or if you want to do it annually for $89.99. Okay, not excited. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like long pause. Paul, I love you. Ian, I love you. But my gosh, did you really expect the the room just to explode with applause? There ain't no way. People hate subscriptions. <laughs> so $90 a year and just long pause waiting for applause. Both of you put the audience, I don't know how many people were there, in a situation where they feel uncomfortable. Uh, and then they felt obligated to do a little cheering. All right. All right. You, you got to pause for like a second. I get it. I know. I get it. I get it. I get it. I know. I know. Guys, I know. it's the power of ZBrush for $90 a year. Like that's crazy. Yeah. Right. So. And it keeps good. you updated throughout the whole time. So that's the subscription. Yes. $90. Yeah. Right. So we are going to have these options. Uh, I'd hate to be in those two guys' shoes, but they've kind of done it for a couple of years now. They're getting used to it, just part of the job, you know. Subscriptions suck, ninety dollars a year. Uh, while I think that's pretty reasonable, I still hate subscriptions. Period. But yeah, don't don't pause and then expect roaring applause. No way, not for that. For your features of ZBrush for iPad, hundred percent roaring applause. You all have done amazing work. Great job, Paul, Ian, the whole Maxon ZBrush team. You should be very proud, and that's not a knock on any of that. Over to you. My turn. Your turn, My and turn. you're going to put this in order I am. and rock and roll, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, we've already seen me throw a pencil, so mm. that's not good. That was awesome. All right. And what's really, really cool is those blue dots that you see. So anytime you're presenting or recording your screen, those dots show up immediately. Ah, what I like about that is- That's gonna be awesome for YouTube content. Those dots, that's, that's fantastic. Thank you. Tutorials, all kinds of stuff. Is what the heck am I doing? So it's all about just knowing where everything's at and you guys can follow along. And we actually partnered up with Monster Clay. And Who are I here. 
They are here. Where are they? They're there. Yeah, it's good. Dude, not that I really care that there's a monster clay material in ZBrush, but I just love monster clay uh, in general. Like if you've never actually sculpted with it, man, it's so much fun. Go buy some. It is a blast. Oh, don't get soft. Medium or hard is the way to go. Of how this would look in monster clay. So here's like a matte cap version. And of course I can just hit render, throw my pen on the so floor. So you, you did do it. <laughs> look at that. I got it. I got it. Now I we're got good. It. I got it. Keep Boom. It. There you go. So it's rendered it's already very, very BPR, wet. just a little bit of a setting. But what if I wanted some light control? So this was like a matte cap version. So now I'm going to go ahead and let Paul dig for the other pencil. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this version, which is the standard version. And then Where if I go? go ahead and go BPR again. You can now see that there's a different lighting setup because this is a standard material and it's just really good to work with. Yeah, the BPR does look really good with that material. Matte cap, uh, you know, it's whatever. Um, but like, uh, it does look like monster clay. That's pretty cool. Something that's familiar to the real world, especially if you work with statues. You doing good down there? I Seriously, where is it? I got it, it's right <laughs> oh, here. You got it? Yeah. All right, cool. I was that fast. <laughs> I just oh, wanted right. to make him dig. Did you just send him down there? That's so funny, dude. Monster clay. So here's like a matte cap version. And of course I can just hit render, throw my pen on the so floor. So you, you did do it. <laughs> Look at that. I got it. I got it. Now I we're got good. It. I got it. Keep Boom. Going. There you go. So it's what? rendered already <laughs> BPR. <laughs> I'll search for the pen. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. It's a little bit of a setting, but what if I wanted some light control? No so way. this was like a matte cap version. So now I'm going to go ahead and let Paul and I'm going to go ahead and grab this version, which is the standard. Oh, man, that was good. And if I go ahead and go BPR again, that you can now so see that funny, there's a different bro. that's familiar to I got it. It's right oh, here. You got it? Yeah. No All right, cool. I was that fast. <laughs> I just wanted to make him dig on the floor. Honestly, I feel like most people are going to like say, oh, my goodness, give me this UI on the desktop because many, many people hate it. I'm not one of them, but... I could see people asking for like a port. Hey, can I just have everything set up just as it is on the iPad on the desktop? So you've got, you got, you got Dynamesh, you got Sculptures Pro. Also, you got Dynamesh. So you've got, you got, you got Dynamesh. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that's still there. Those darn little, uh, little warnings. Like the mesh has multiple subdivision levels. Yes, no, always yes. Until next restart, just get rid of that crap. I press the button. I know what I'm doing. Don't question me. Get rid of that. Smoother, simplistic way of being able to work. Um, you can minimize things so that you can get more space while you're working on your iPad. Then we're saying, well, we're in brushes. Why not then just give the user the ability to go right to the brush palette? And that way I can literally stay right here and get everything that I need within this menu. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Like there's no other way to do this for iPad. Like I know they spent a lot of time getting to stuff like this, this UI UX stuff, but that makes so much sense. Nice job. You right now. So I don't have to jump around as much. This is what we're trying to take advantage of, right? So you can see, I can adjust my draw size with three fingers up and down. I can adjust my focal shift, three fingers, right? Oh, I saw some face actions mm -hmm. there. I saw some jaws being dropped. <laughs> Yeah, three fingers up and down. Awesome. Yeah, I think it's pretty crazy that they added this amount of customization in version 1.0 or whatever this is, you know, the first, the launch version. Uh, super cool. ZBrush is all about customization. Right, so you have the ability to have, obviously, navigation. This is just your rotation. You can pinch the zoom. But the one thing I want to stress, what we did was really cool. I noticed Lucas was doing this quite a bit when he was doing. You guys noticed when he was zooming, he was also rotating at the same time to yeah. get it where he wanted to make the right stroke that he wanted because we don't do this and this when we sculpt we do you know in different different ex right it almost feels like a uh the space mouse right uh 3d connection space mouse how you can just rotate and zoom pinch all the same thing same time that's pretty so cool you can actually at the same time zoom and rotate so like for example i can say rotate y and here's another cool one you guys can do so if you guys can do this where you rotate if you lift a finger you can now also rotate so you can, right? So it's again, you are going to zoom in and out, rotate this. Yeah, some of this stuff doesn't really, I mean, it makes sense, but like you really just have to get in there and try it for yourself. Okay, so I can either drag it over right from the palette or I can come down here and add them there. You also can bring your pickers over and add your pickers as well. So again, having that feel like I want my way to do things, okay? So with that. Yeah, no kidding.
ZBrush has always been like Burger King, have it your way, and that's awesome. So I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna kill you because that blue dot that won't go away is driving me. Nonsense. You mean the one that they can see, so they yeah, know what yeah, you're doing? The, 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 no, but the anymore. stuck up there. I don't oh, know okay. why. I blame <laughs> Paul. Well, yeah. Whoa, blame. yeah. Right. Probably. Whoa, Paul, man, the f up. Woof. We shouldn't have done it because now look, it doesn't like me. I'll write doesn't him up. Want, I don't, I don't, I don't want to launch. Oh no, thanks. You oh, I'm show going. The trick. Oh, show I'm going yeah. to. I'm going to. Yeah. You can get information. You can also press here and add the bar there, but this is the fun thing. Again, embracing having an iPad. So let's say I'm a big hard surface person. I'm gonna say I really love the bevel arc. I also like flat, flatten, polish, planer, and trim dynamic and put them all in Yay. at the same time. Right? That's really not that cool. That's the trick. Yeah. I love that trick. So there's a lot that you guys like to use over and over and over and over. Oof. I'm so glad decimation and more so transpose master use that all the time. One of my favorite features and over and over again. Okay. So what we wanted to do is let's go up to the custom again and let's do some custom quick menus. So that little menu, you guys are also going to be able to do what you want in there as well. And the beauty of this is, is you've got every single palette at your disposal. So yes, there we go. That's good. I'll applaud you for that. Thank you for the customization. Say, who, how many people are saving tools more than anything? Yeah. All right, we got to rock, oh, got to rock. Right. Everyone else, are projects now? Everyone's saving projects? Raise them. I like that almost, some people didn't raise their hand at all. No, not at all. Not at all. All right, cool, great. Yeah, those are the people that just don't save. Savings for noobs. Wait for it. Time is of the essence. Okay. You know, so pause Beautiful. for effect. Beautiful. You got to. I got to switch. I got to switchy, switchy. I might have to turn off presentation I mode. I do. Yeah, I got <laughs> presentation mode killed in, us today. In the show. Yeah. There we go. Hey, this little guy. Yeah. What? 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 That's the old one. Who is? Who is? Hey, who are you? Hey, there's a mic. Ladies and gentlemen, Joseph Drust is here. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Drust is here. No way. Come on up, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Come on up. Come, come on up. up. We got royalty, a chair. Royalty, come on. Royalty, what what is going on? on. Ah. No way. <laughs> That's so good to see him. Come on, come on. Come on. What is going on? All right, please tell us. Yeah. Tell us what is going on. So I stole your iPad. Okay. And I made some changes. Oh. And you didn't update it. No. Hmm. So you're saying you got to have the update Look, and get it? We talked chip. about this All right. before so cute. the show. So you guys, this is what I've, over years, this is what Joseph's done Look to me. Look how cute this guy is. Who I likes like this model? One. Okay, okay, good. He's okay. one of my favorites. We, we went so, over the one. I gave yes, you the updated one. Yes, and this yes, is what you do. Yes, I'm yeah. sorry. The wrong model. It's my fault. Again, okay, ABP. Okay. Well, here, let me, so let me, what, what you got? Let what me you got? send it to you. Okay, all right. Send it to me or you're going to send it to me? Let's send it to, send it to Ian. Yeah, 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 I'll take it. Okay, so what are you going to do? So I'm just uh, pushing this little button here, this export Oh, so I maybe, you're you're going to send it from the iPad straight to the desktop is what you're calling As long as, you're on the network? Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Are, yeah. are yeah. you on the network? I yes. am, I am. How, did oh, you, did you, oh, oh, be, oh look, look at what's that. Go are ahead. hacking me now these days? Give permission to do it. Say no, say fine. no. No, come on, Say fine. no. Oh. Hey. There you go. Oh. <laughs> this guy's cute. That's the new one. Okay, that was pretty cool. I love that Joseph Drust was there at the end. How cool. I wish we would have got a little bit more about what he's been up to, but that's really neat. That was pretty fun. I know that I've said this in the past, but I have not been excited about anything that Maxon has done in the past two or three years, however long it's been, until I saw what in the world they're doing with ZBrush for iPad. It's absolutely incredible. The work that they put into this and just the product that is there, it's not perfect. It's version 1.0. There's also some crappy pricing, but you can go try it out for free. So let me know what you think.